Having a glass of green juice in the morning can help you feel energized and alert throughout the day. That's because in a single glass of juice, you get nutrients from more veggies than you could ever fit into a salad. So starting your day with green juice is a huge gift to your body. I'm going to show you how to make a green juice that's exceptionally high in antioxidants because it includes multiple greens and broccoli stalks. But it isn't bitter at all thanks to the gentle flavors of celery, cucumbers, and romaine lettuce. In fact, the green juice we're about to prepare actually tastes like lemonade. Before we get started, I want to say a word about juicers. The type of juicer you use can determine how much you enjoy the preparation process and even how much juice you get from the vegetables and fruits you include. You need a juicer that's efficient and can easily press juice from any fruit or vegetable, including green leafy vegetables and soft fruits. I've owned TriBest brand juicers for the past 15 years, and I've always known them to be the best juicers on the market. I'm excited about their latest model, the Green Star Elite. It's the world's only juice extractor that uses a revolutionary advanced jumbo twin gear set and a three-stage juicing process, crushing, mixing, and pressing, which offers you not only the freshest tasting juice from your produce, but also maximizes your juice yields from various fruits and vegetables compared to any other juicer. I love the new modern lightweight streamlined look. It looks great on my kitchen counter. Let's take a look at the parts of this juicer. There's fewer parts with this juicer and therefore it's easier to clean, and I love that. This safety hood also works to cradle all your juicing parts after you juice so that they don't take up space drying on your counter. The juicer assembles and disassembles with one snap, so it's really easy. Here we have the fine juicing screen. This is the screen that I use for most juices. If you like to have a little bit of pulp in your juice, you can also fit the juicer with the coarse screen. This works well for tomato juice or orange juice when you want a little bit of the pulp. But for most juices, I use the fine screen. Another option is you can fit the juicer with the blank plate. This is what you would use when you want to puree your ingredients rather than juice them. So for example, let's say I want to make ice cream. I could put frozen fruits through the juicer fitted with the blank plate. I could put frozen bananas, mangoes, peaches, strawberries, any fruit you like, and I would end up with delicious soft serve ice cream. Now these are the twin gears. You can see that they're not sharp at all. They're not blades. They're not going to cut the greens. They're going to gently press the greens. And that's going to preserve the maximum nutrition and flavor from the greens. It's also going to allow you to get the maximum amount of juice out of your greens. So I'll go ahead and put the juicer back together. Now you can use either a plastic plunger or a wooden plunger with this juicer. When you use the plastic plunger, it never touches the gears, so you don't need to worry about that. The wooden plunger will touch the gears, but it won't damage them in any way. So let's go ahead and make this super green juice. You can see that I'm going to use a variety of greens in this juice. I've got cucumbers, kale, celery, romaine lettuce, broccoli stalks, spinach. This variety of greens, along with the broccoli stalks, is going to result in a juice that's really high in antioxidants and vitamins. You want to make sure that you cut the greens and vegetables so that they fit the shoot of the juicer. The celery is already going to fit fine, so I don't need to cut it at all. Next, I'm going to add kale. 
Kale is loaded with calcium and green juice is a great way to get it into your diet. I'm going to put the kale in stem side first into the juicer. Next, I'm going to add spinach. Spinach is really high in protein. Next, I'll add cucumber. I'll go ahead and cut the cucumber so it fits the juicer. I'll cut it in half, then again lengthwise, and lengthwise again. I love how quiet this juicer is. It runs at a slow speed and a low temperature, so it's really gentle on the greens and vegetables. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a broccoli stalk to this green juice. When you eat broccoli, there's no need to throw away the stalks. They're perfect with green juice and they add a lot of antioxidants and vitamins to your juice. I'll go ahead and cut this in half lengthwise so that it easily fits through the chute of the juicer. Next, I'm going to add some romaine lettuce. Romaine is a milder green than kale or spinach, so it's going to give our juice a very gentle, mild, light flavor. I'll go ahead and cut it so that it easily fits through the chute of the juicer. I'll cut off the bottom. This is a big head of romaine, so I'll cut about half of this in half lengthwise. and that should fit through the juicer fine. Next, I'm going to add green apples and lemon. They're going to give sweetness and zest to our green juice and make it taste like lemonade. I'll start with the green apples. I'm going to cut them into chunks so that they fit through the chute of the juicer. The green color of these apples is gonna go perfectly with the vibrant green of the juice. Finally, I'll add some lemon. That'll really perk up the flavor of the greens. I'm just peeling the lemon. I've made enough for two large servings, or just for myself to drink all morning long. I like to store this juice in glass mason jars. Because the Tribest juicer is so gentle on greens and vegetables, it will actually keep in the refrigerator for up to two days. I can't think of a better way to start the day than with a green juice that tastes good and gives your body all the nutrients it needs. Green juice can even give you a little morning buzz that will help you keep up with all the coffee drinkers out there. But you'll have no caffeine jitters, just the calm energy of your body feeling its best.